Hey everyone, just biting the bullet here. Um, I've spent most of the week trying to find um, a good lighting kit and reading up on how to shoot video without looking like a total buffoon. Um, the truth is all of the recommendations are that um, you plan well ahead, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I did the best I could to plan and ultimately I'm not much of a planner. So in light of um, what my focus this year is on being deeply seen and vulnerable and loving my art with all my heart and uh, basically my life as well, I'm just gonna push forward. There's nothing more I can do to prepare. So um, I'm just gonna share with you a sketch um, today, to start with, um, I'm going to show you my photograph. This is my BFF here with wild curly hair and my precious little boy, Dexter, my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And um, I'm going to get the sketch down. This is a 36 by 36 inch canvas and I am currently working this large and have been for a few years now. Um, I love what it does um, in terms of um, as I'm working with the knife and putting on lots of paint, I really have to move myself around in order to get to the entire canvas. Um, so today's little video clip is going to be um, showing you how I get the sketch down and um, really kind of showing you that I do this intuitively um, and not measured. I don't do this in any measured way. And yes, you can see I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to look at the camera on the phone. So um, again, um, just bear with me and I'm going to get started. Um, and I want you guys to know you can see my website, which is sallyschisler.com. Um, Schistler was my former married name. Um, my maiden name is Cummings, and although I haven't legally changed, I am moving forward as Cummings. So, um, but you can go to sallyschistler.com to see my work and my workshop schedule and a bunch of other goodies. Um, also, you're gonna see me on Facebook, which is probably where you're seeing me right now. And I would love, 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 lots of likes, lots of loves, comments, shares, anything you can do to help me grow my art business. So um, without further ado, I'm going to get started. And you're gonna see me walking in and out of this, uh, this, this area here because my palette is way over here and it's really big like the size of a shower door right now. So, okay, here we go. So what I have here is yellow ochre and burnt sienna. I've got kind of a half and half mixture and I'm gonna be laying the sketch down with this brush right here. This is a flat. Um, I can't find my filbert, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this and it should be fine. So I'm mixing the paint with my trusty um, poppy seed oil, trying to get it a little bit runnier because I'm end painting with a brush and it is a sketch. So I'm not putting a whole lot of paint down. Okay. Now, although this, this photo here, you see it's obviously it's a rectangular, it is a portrait format. Um, I'm gonna, you know, crop this so that it can fit nicely onto this um, square format. So I'm going to crop right about to here. Okay. And come down right about to here. All right. And then from there, I want to sort of find the center right, the center right here between here and there and here and there, top bottom. And then also kind of um, find the center between here, left and right. And just drop down and over a couple of lines. These are my orientation reference point lines. Um, the center is right there, right where her watch is gonna be. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
create these marks, larger format. This is for my translation from small to large. I'm gonna find the center. And I'm gonna do my best to sort of stand aside so you can really see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna, you know, like this. Don't worry about drawing a perfectly straight line. It isn't gonna matter. And all it's gonna do, um, as far as I'm concerned, is throw you off. Um, it's gonna get you away from working um, within your passion and within your um, ability to really express your true self. So, okay, so this is how I go about it. You're gonna see how quick this is. And I've got little Dexter down here who for some reason is scared today. So he's hovering around me. And you will also hear little Bill in the background. My Finch. Okay, so here we go. I just started to get um, Christina's head in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look at the curve of the arm and relate it to where it's at here. And now I'm going to come back up. I'm going to look here. I'm going to look at the top. I'm going to come down and find the shoulder area, okay, where it meets her hair. And it kind of curves down like this right into Dexter's head. Okay, get some more paint. And guys, it's always important to stand way back so you can see, you can kind of see where you're at with this. And I can't do it right here while I'm shooting this video, but I will stand back sometimes as far as like 20 feet. Um, the more you can stand back, the better. All right, so let's, uh, let's keep going here. Okay, Christina's hand is right about in this area. And just take the curve of this arm here. Give it some expressive, you know, movement. You're going to find the joint, the elbow joint, the wrist joint. Okay, the fingers. Okay, now we're coming down into Dexter's, the long sweep of his left arm here. There's a dark right there, and I'm gonna come down. Okay, there's his paw. Now, hands, feet, and I mean, in general, like if we're looking at um, figure drawings, we're looking at people, you can overemphasize them. They can tend to look awfully small um, because when we look at ourselves or other people, it seems like, oh, they're so tiny, these little digits, these little, um, you know, finger joints, but we're not going to paint every single um, finger with its, you know, the way that it bends, um, so on and so forth. Um, and also, so that goes for most animals too. Um, you can see in the photo here, his paw is quite large. So that's the indication of, of his paw. Okay, now his, uh, well, let's stand back. Okay, so far I like it. I feel like it's a little bit low. So I'm just gonna come in now at this point and create a little bit more of a, a nice sweep. Raise it up a little bit. Okay, a little bit more even. Okay, now I'm looking at his right, his right leg. This, this is how it's draping over. This is her leg. So the right, his right arm is draping over her leg. And the bend in his, um, his, I guess you would call it ankle. Would you want to talk? I don't know. Maybe that is wrist and ankle. Maybe it's the same thing. I should know. I've had dogs for decades. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw this in. Okay, make the sweep. Come up to where his head's going to be. And 
Stand back. Okay. Also, you know, when you take photos, you've got this, this just happens, this whole foreshortening, um, disproportionate, really, um, anything that comes into the foreground and closer to the cameraman looks forced. Um, it used to bother me, but now I think it's kind of cool. So um, it just adds, it adds even more depth and perspective to the painting. So um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna let it happen. Um, so let's keep going. Dexter is literally not letting me walk to the canvas. Baby, back. Good boy, you stay. Okay. All right. Back to the center, come up. Here, top of the head. It's gonna be shadow here. Back to the top of the head, shoulder coming around into her hair. Okay, put some more paint on here. Stand back. There's the chest area. Over. Now, when I do the actual painting, her face is going to be in quite a bit of shadow. Um, so it's important to always squint. Okay, you're going to squint at your reference point, whether it's from life or or uh, from a photograph. If you squint at this, you see there is not a whole lot that really stands out. Um, her nose, obviously, I think you can see it, is, is going to be the lightest. And that value there is, um, is very, um, you know, it's very, it's quite dark. So, just a little, little observation there. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Um, bring your hair out a little bit more. Wild hair. You'll see me painting her again and again because she's so interesting. And I can't let you get your hands on this, Christina, because if I do, you're going to end up keeping it forever. So this is going to a gallery, baby girl. All right, here we go. See this while I'm doing it. So I really, you know, as I'm sketching, I really want to get the movement in here. You know, this probably, I, you know what, this does. It looks like a straight line, but I don't ever want to draw it straight because this is life. This is lively. Give it some character. Don't worry. Uh, ankle. Oops, actually, the ankle comes down all the way down here. Over knee of, of Dexter. This is Dexter's knee. Okay, it crosses over the midline, comes over. This curve comes down. This is the curve of his back. Sweetness. Actually, it's it's windy here, so that's why he's having problems.
stand back. All right, awesome, I'm liking it. Um, head looks possibly a little bit small. I'm gonna start adding some, I'm gonna just do burnt sienna now so I can um, target some of the darker areas and also use them as reference points. With any luck, I'll, I'll make this look kind of bad. Um, you think I'm joking, but I'm actually not. When I teach my classes, I actually like to, I like the students to see me do things that I wouldn't want them to do because I think sometimes when we go into another artist's workshop, we're expecting them to be, you know, they, they already are our idols, right? If we've been watching them, um, do their artwork and what looking at their paintings and um so on and so forth we kind of go in thinking oh my god this this is god here um and you know the demo is going to be perfect and then the demo's perfect and then for me i find myself going oh my god i can never do this and you know my head gets into this funk and then i have trouble focusing um so anyway with any luck i'll flub here and then you actually will learn something so, okay, let's keep going. Okay, so this sweep right here, okay, this is her hairline across where her forehead is. And Dexter's now panting. Now I'm painting sort of around where her face is. I seem to always um, end up with really big heads, which actually is better than ending up with a small head because um, you can cut in, which I almost always end up doing. So I'm not gonna sweat this much right now. Yeah, okay, so I am not happy with the top there. So um, when you're not happy with something, try and correct it right away. I am just gonna smear this down. This is just poppy seed oil. Okay, now I'm gonna try and get this in there a little better, starting with the yellow ochre again. Okay, go back to basics, find the center, okay? Find the curve of her hair. Follow the negative space. went
You want to try and find the crown of the head, okay, which is the center point on right at the top of our head, right about here, and maybe just a little bit, just a little bit toward the back side. So I, I'm just gonna point this out. Okay, this is this is the perspective here. You can see it like this. I mean, this is the angle. Okay, and then if you come around and look, let me show you closer. You're gonna look at where the eyes rest. Okay, you can see this, you can see this kind of oval right here. Sit back. That's much better. Okay, a um, couple more reference points and I'm gonna let you go for the day. I'm going down to Art on Center tonight. Uh, I'll be down there between 4.30 and 6. And um, of course, you're not even gonna see this video because it takes so long to upload things. Um, okay, anyway, let's go here. Dark reference points. Okay, there they are. Another one over here. Here for the round of this back. Step back. Come forward a little bit. Be thinking of design always. Always, always think of design. A well designed painting with really good shapes um, and darks uh, placed strategically is going to get you a long way towards a good solid base and starch. Now, when I get that down, um, I wanna feel the sweep. So with my arm, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, is it a good sweep? Does it cross to my eye? Does my eye come around? You know what's going on here? Let's stand back and look at it. And voila! It's ready to go. So next video, you will see me beginning to paint. Hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.